Do you need to assign one of your forms? Well, let me show you how. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and as you can see, I'm currently in the features landing page for assigning forms on my desktop. Now the great thing about this is you can assign forms from your desktop and on mobile. So if you are a mobile only customer, you can always do this yourself. Now, as I scroll, you'll be able to see there's a lot of different things that you can do when it comes to assigning a form. We're only gonna cover a few of these things, so make sure you come back to this features landing page for all the information. So let's go ahead and jump over to my dashboard. Now, for this example, I'm going to use the very first form at the top. We have a Black Friday form, and there are a couple of different ways that we can get to the assign form option. So the first way is over on the far right hand side, if I choose more, we can choose to assign form, and that's going to bring us straight to the assign form option. But let's say you're currently in the middle of building your form, which it would look like this. So before we go to publish, we want to assign that form. So I'm gonna hit the publish option. Then on the far left-hand side, we have assigned form. And there are a ton of different options just within this page. So at the top, we can see that this is a public form. If you would like to make it a private or a company access only form, we can do that. So let's go ahead and jump over to settings. Right here, we have private or company access. If we scroll down, we get to see what type of permissions we're going to allow our assignee. Do we want them to submit only? Do we want them to submit and view later? Or do we want to allow them to submit and even edit their form later? Submit and edit later is what's currently on, which is perfect. Now, one of the ways that we can provide this assignee their form is via a link. So if I turn on this down here, we can even set a custom expiration date. So let's say, for example, we only want them to have access to this form for a week. Let's go ahead and say the expiration date is from one week from today at noon. Perfect. We're good to go. So we can go and X out of this. And here is that assign E link. If we want to refresh it, we can. But if we go ahead and copy that link, we can send that to them however is best for you. Maybe it's in Slack or on Messenger, whatever works for you. You can send it that way. And we can see here this link will expire on November 23rd, that one week mark. Now, instead of doing a link, maybe we have a bunch of people that we would like to add in. And a great thing with that is you can even upload a CSV. So we can enter them in one at a time right here, but if we want to, we can upload a CSV and we can even download that sample CSV just to make sure that we have everything in the right spot. And if you are an enterprise customer, you can always assign to everyone in your organization. Now, as you can see, I already have this form assigned to someone and all I did was just enter in their information right here. We can add in a special message if we would like and we can even set the pre-fill so that way the form automatically pre-fills for them so they don't have to do anything. They can just open the form and submit if that is what is needed. Did. Then we can send the invitation, but let's go ahead and cancel out of this and let's take a look at what this looks like. So we get to see who is assigned to this form. We can see when they joined the form and we can see what their last submission was. Now, if we need to, we can change that status from right in here and we can even click on the three dots. We can view their submissions. If maybe they haven't filled it out in a while, we need to send a reminder email. We can do that and we can even schedule reminder email. So let's say we want them to fill it out every single day at 1 p.m. We can go ahead and turn that on daily at 1 p.m. Perfect, and we're good to go. Let's go ahead and save. Perfect, let's go ahead and do those three dots again. Let's view those submissions. And we can see it's filtered right up here by the person who is assigned the form. And then we have all of their submissions. So we can see that this was assigned to Kimberly, but the person who it was being filled out for was for Carly. So every single submission that Kimberly does is going to be right here in this inbox. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sign out of this account and sign into my other account so we can see what this looks like from our assignee's point of view. Now in order to access those assigned forms, it's gonna be over on the left-hand side, right down here, assigned forms, and we see right here our Black Friday. We can view this form and in this case, when we do view form, it pulls up, there's no editing. All we need to do is just fill out the form. But if I head back, we can view my submissions. 
and that view looks very similar to the form owner. Now, if you want, as the person who is assigned the form, remember we did submit and edit, we can always come back up here and edit our submission, and maybe we need to change the email, maybe we need to change the name, but all we have to do is submit again. Let's go ahead and change the last name. Perfect submission has been updated and it really is as simple as that if you have any question about assigning forms be sure to visit that features landing page on assigning forms now if you like this video and you got some value hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time you put out a new video i'll see you next time